I have a very like specific palette. What's he's your palette? Too, he's 100% too nice for me. You're joking. Well, at least you got time. It was a catastrophe. What do you mean? I beat his ass in Cornwall. And then the girl walked up and was like, hey, can I sell you? And I was like, go. He sucks. Claire came up to us, and she was just like talking to anyone who would listen about she and him were playing cornhole and eating wings or something. And she just kept saying how forced it felt and how like uncomfortable and how like little chemistry there was between them. No. What? It was so uncomfortable to be sitting there with her. All of us are stoked on Clayton. And it's just like, girl, that's my dream guy. Like, shut up. I would eat him and spit him out. Like, just going off. Like, man. You come for Clayton, you come for all of us. <laughs> Claire is absolutely ridiculous and rude. I can't be with, like, America's sweetheart. Wait, what? All the other women here are looking for marriage at the end of this, and we're really excited to be here to date Clayton. Did you talk to her? Yeah, I hated it. How are you going to go about, are you going to tell him? No. Claire has a lot to say. Something switched and it went zero to 100. It was, I hate him. If I meet someone like that, we ain't friends, and I'll never see you or talk to you again. But like, I'm stuck with this bitch for now. I'm too like fiery. Like, I don't need like a, hi, I love America, and I am a sweetheart. Someone needs to tell Clayton, like, what's going on in the house. It's not for me. There's just something like going on that I think you should know about before like the night goes on. Okay. I've like overheard Claire like saying some things and I think that you should talk to her. What exactly was she saying? I mean, she was like, oh, I hate him. I hate him. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a strong word. I think that it's really important that you have that conversation with her. Yeah. Did you talk to Clayton? No. Should I? Yes. <laughs> what is that's happening? Just... Claire, can I speak with you outside? Yes. Hopefully, Clayton realizes Claire should go home. I'm hearing... Things. Things, yes, yeah. about what you're saying to other girls in the house. Yeah. Saying that you hate me. No, I don't hate you. I just, I feel like we just haven't, like, clicked. It's just like, dude, get her out of here. She should have left already. Like, this is just not worth the time and energy. But she wants, she's dragging this out. I think you're a great guy. Okay. And honestly, like, I think you're, I don't hate, like, it's not, no, what the hell? I don't hate anybody. Right, right. now, in that time that he's spending with her, he could be with her, he could be with her. But at the end of the day, it, it just needed to shame. happen, though. Yeah. I think he's really following his heart, and his heart will lead him in the right direction. I mean, That's if she good. gets a rose, I would love nothing more. in his position, like if my first night of meeting everyone that happened, I would be really hurt by that. Vibe kill. Yeah. Hey, is everybody in here? I think that's everybody. Um, I was made aware that there was someone in the house that was kind of just tearing the whole mood down. And after speaking with her, um, I sent her home. I don't think it's fair to have somebody here that doesn't want to be here when there's so many phenomenal women in this room. I have had such an awesome night so far, and I am doing my best to get to talk to every last one of you. But I want everyone that wants to be here to, to be here. So if there's anybody that wants to step out and leave, We're not going anywhere. <laughs> no okay. chance. Okay. 